trap. <clears throat> I'm going back in where I started. Oh, holy shit, it's the skeleton. No, if I keep dying and end up in a death trap, I might as well just start naming that skeleton. Any good names? You know, like Pete, George, Jim. Uh, there's a creepy old guy. He probably still doesn't like me. I'm going to start playing a game called Who Here? How much verbal abuse can Nightshade take? Not very much, because she just told him to go out and do some real work, and he cried. Okay. Nightshade, I've got nothing. I'm sorry. I'm going to talk to this guy. No, madam. Okay, that's not weird or anything. Huge brainless lump of muscle and bone. I'm going to try fighting him. <laughs> you fight Ugg the human steam shovel? <laughs> you must be kidding. <laughs> I gotta say, that is pretty funny. Alright, what do we got here? Car and a uh, phone box. <coughs> Anthrax infected earwigs in the earpiece. Wow, these guys must have been really bored when coming up with the jokes. Boy, you ain't nothing more popular than a rabid weasel in a ballet skirt. Um, wait a minute, was that just Vortex? You know, the guy who got blown to bits by the three ominous shadows? You know, like the three stooges, only they're ominous shadows. And I see a ladder. Nothing unusual here, so I'm gonna assume I can take it. And Nightshade just picks it up and puts it in his trench coat. Wow, he, he's he's starting to turn to Solid Snake here. You know, he get, Solid Snake has all those guns and equipment and everything. Next thing you know, I see Nightshade just putting everything in his, his trench coat. And then there's a lamp sign with a big V attached. Let's see. Examine sign. Nightshade finds a note. Fourth brick along the above the ledge. Sign V. Okay. So wait, maybe V V must be Vortex because of um He is Vortex. Begins with a V. Obviously that must be Vortex. But uh <coughs> wait a minute. Did Vortex purposely lay out all these like, you know, little hints and everything because he knew he was gonna die? If he, if he had the power of precognition, don't you think he would be able to, uh, you know, use it to stop things? You know, maybe not get shot, blown away by a bunch of, uh, of, of Omnis Shadow thugs? Just a thought. Uh, gate with a key. Oh, it opens up. Alright, we got a, uh, fire, a clock, something that says Ankh, but we can't use it, so... It's the second largest clock. Oh, come on. Enough of the second largest crap. It's kind of stupid by now. The hand seems stuck. Hmm. So obviously, I must put two and two together and move the hands. What does it do? I don't know. Oh, it stops the fire. I see. All right, let's see what's underneath these logs. Nothing unusual here. Operate. Oh, manhole. Crowdably see obvious secret exit. Okay. Well, let's go down it. There's a bat. Uh, let's look at these bats. What a gorgeous little bat. Oh, what gorgeous little teeth. Yeah, I don't know about you, but that's kind of scary, man. There's no reply. Huh. And I see a thing, an inexplicable thing with brass knobs on it. Um, can I use it? Nope. What the hell is that? Books. Gosh. One interesting book on Egyptology. I bet this one will come handy. I better take it. Huh. Okay, so this guy... Nightshade just broke into a person's house. Broke his clock. Went into his secret escape tunnel and stole his book. And not stole his book on Egyptology. Now he's looking over what he's got. Wow. I just... I'm shocked by words. This guy's supposed to be a superhero. He's breaking into people's houses and stealing shit. Wow. Jesus, Nightshade, you're a horrible person. And the bats hit me, and they hurt. <coughs> oh, let's go back this way. Well, I'm gonna go into the library, this place. Oh, it's a library. Museum of books. Well, these books look strange. Book. Oh, jeez. Cool. Secret passage. Alright, let's examine this thing. Sacred scroll papyrus. Trademark. Huh. 
Who owns the second scroll of papyrus that makes it trademarked? I don't know, but it must be important. One of these books looks strange. Book. Okay. Bullshit. Do I see another paradox going on? I, I, I'm pretty sure I do, because this was two streets, was a street down to the left, or the right, and the library is up. I went up, and then I went to the right, and then I went up again, so that, it's impossible if I, you know what, I'm not going to bother with it, I'm just going to ask the librarian if she knew about it. Shh. Fine. Jesus. Squirrels. I wonder if I can use the powers of Dr. Doolittle on the squirrels. These squirrels look very hungry. <clears throat> well, I'll talk to him. Overthrow the government? Let us rise up and... Er, squeak? <laughs> Being so shallow of a game, that's actually pretty funny. And even though it's hungry and anarchic, I'm gonna feed it food. Nice nightshade feeds the pretty squirrels. Oh, Jesus, they're tweaking out. I hope they don't, like, turn into a mecha squirrel and start attacking me. Oh, I left the little square. Amulet. It's the sacred rat guard, Amulet of Bast. Huh. And there's a blue guy down there. I I'm gonna talk to this squirrel. Squeak. Look, cutest factor nine. I don't think I can take it. It's a fucking squirrel, man. Surprised I don't just like, you know, jump up and try eating you or something. You're a dick. Strange, what a person dressed in a suit and a bowler hat would be doing in the bushes. Oh, I want to find out. So let's ask him. Nightshade. His mustache is hanging up. <laughs> Sweet fight. Oh! Wow, he, he fights like Odd Job from 007 Goldfinger. <laughs> the little hat throw? That's incredible. Ah, uh, Yeah, take that, bitch. Alright, let's go into this building. Obviously, it's important. <coughs> let's look at this guy. What the hell is he doing? Curator. It's the curator. Cool. Isn't this game fun? I say this is a desperate attempt at making a joke, but I'm not going to really say much to it. Just trying too hard. Let me operate a dino bone, huh? Nope. I want to see if I can pick this thing up. Please don't touch. It's very delicate. Whoops. Is that the best he could say is, whoops, I didn't hear her. This is an outrage. Vandal, assassin. I'm glad they consider Nightshade to be an assassin. I mean, it is. He is in trench coat and sunglasses at night. While wearing a fedora. Nothing wrong with that. Just, he looks more like a, uh, um, a flasher than an actual superhero, if anything. And he still talks like a flasher.